So I'm going to talk about a different style of Jefferson, the one you normally see. <clears throat> I'll be lined up perpendicular to the plates. And that seems to be the most difficult one, and so therefore the least popular. The one I've not really done the other variation much at all. I've always enjoyed <clears throat> the harder one. Seems to give a lot of oblique work, and that's what I like about it. So if you're going to do this style, parallel with the plates, it seems like centering seems to be the hard thing. And I'm talking centered in relation to the bar parallel with the plates and centered with the bar perpendicular to the plates. Okay. So the first thing, it seems like a lot of people want to put their leg right in the middle of the bar. That seems to make sense, but it's really not what you want to do. I'm set up for a deadlift right now, pretty much got a deadlift stance. So what you want to do is just step over with one leg, because really you want the groin centered with the bar. You don't want that leg over there. Your center is right there. Okay. Now, a common mistake I see also, thinking it's a good idea to have the bar close to the leg. Well, on deadlifts, it's a good idea. Hack lifts, it's a good idea. Olympic lifting, it's a good idea. But, again, you're not over the groin. If the bar is too close to the leg, the groin isn't going to be in the right position. Or you won't be in the right position to pull towards the groin. You're going to have the bar way up in front. And you're going to wind up getting a pull on your hamstring. So usually what you want to do is you want to come down and see first before you pull where you're positioned. As I get lower, the rear leg... I have the foot turned out about 45 degrees, so it's not quite that way. Not this way, but right in between, 45 degrees. So I'll come down, and I'll make sure I'm right over that bar. And if I don't think I am, which I wasn't right there, I'll move that front foot forward a little bit. Okay. This leg is going to be kind of leaned in as I pull. The rear leg will be leaned in. It's not going to be straight up. It's going to be leaned in. That's 426. So I don't believe in showing people how to do something with a light weight. Don't, you know, I see it all the time. Show you moving some weight and show you doing it right. That's how you show someone. Anybody can look good with just a 45 on each side. So let's try it with the other side. Center up to the bar. Just like I'm going to deadlift, step over. This foot's about 45 degrees, the rear foot. I'm going to see, oh, I feel like I'm a little too close to the bar. I'm going to move this leg out a little bit. That looks better. That looks centered. Parallel to the plates and perpendicular to the plates. It feels centered. It looks centered. That rear leg is going to kind of cave in and push. Just like that. So it's a much easier version of the hack lift, I believe. Much easier to master. Once you get the idea of where your center is, set up that center, the parallel to the plates, and then set up your perpendicular plates center. And you should be good. Just remember to lower yourself down, see where the bar is. You can either try to roll it a little bit close, excuse me, a little closer to you. I usually just move the front leg out a little bit. That seems to just be naturally what I want to do. Is it right? Is it wrong? It works for me, so it's right for me. Um, right now I'm tending that if the left if the right leg is back, that grip is underhand leg that's forward, that hand is overhand. Seems to be how it's working for me right now. So I'm going to go up and wait and have some fun with it, but I hope you enjoy the video.